Hello everyone, Neil for T-Shares here, coming at you with another strategy for Tetra, where we automate your DeFi. Today we're going to take a look at the Liquid Loans lending protocol that we'll be launching on Pulse Chain. And we're going to look at the harness strategy and how it utilizes the uh, protocol. And we're going to see how Tetra can automate this for your benefit. So let's take a look at that now. If you haven't heard of it, the harness strategy can be found at hardenstrategy.com. And there you can take a look at uh, what he's done and how he's come up with these ideas to uh, maximize the use case for liquid loans as a lending protocol. So let's take a look at, at this strategy graphically, and then later on we'll take a look at a, uh, a spreadsheet that he did and see how the numbers work out. So being a fork of liquidity, liquid loans work the same way. Uh, you would have an underlying asset called Pulse, and so you take from your Tetra wallet, you will deposit your Pulse into the vault, of liquid loans and then just like uh, uh, liquidity there's a two thousand dollar minimum to take out a loan so we want to when you take out a loan you get you get uh, USDL as a stable coin uh, minted to you and then for this uh, loan this strat harness strategy to work properly uh, we look at it we're looking at a 1,000 percent collateralization rate to be really safe so and to keep this rate up, you'd have to have a little over $20,000 worth of pulse to make the strategy possible and viable. And so, in a nutshell, the strategy works this way. You take out your loan in the form of USDL, and you buy back more pulse, and you put it back into the vault. And the premise is that as pulse increases in value over time, the amount of, of value you hit the borrow against increases, therefore allowing you to borrow more money. Therefore, borrow more pulse, buy more pulse, and put it back in the vault. And repeating this process over and over again every time pulse goes up in value. So the initial strategy concept was, was, a, uh, was a, uh, I guess, initialized with a 10% increase. So that every time pulse went up 10% value, you took a new loan. And you repeated it over and over and over again as pulse went up 10%. So, but that's not all that uh, Liquid Loans has to offer, though. We could, we just like uh, liquidity, uh, it has a stability pool that you can take a portion of your USDL uh, loan and deposit. And that stability pool receives f fees from the liquidations that happen in the system. And those fees are paid out in Pulse Chain tokens, which can be put back in your vault, and loan token. And loan token be, can stake, be staked in their stability, staking pool which is uh, a pool that receives fees from the loans that are taken initially. So those fees are then paid out in the form of USDL and Pulse. And those can be put back in the stability pool and the vault, respectively. So you can see there's uh, some loops happening here within the liquid loans protocol that, you, that Tetra can help you take advantage of and manage, as well as how much of each to go where. Uh, so this is just some examples we see here. Because you could even take uh, some of your loan token and buy uh, a loan and buy more loan token if you want to do that. So the possibilities are, are numerous in this case. But it, as you see here, though, in this basic strategy, we're looking at uh, borrowing more and more pulse as price increases. But what you could do is, when the price goes down, you could borrow the dip. See, for example, when pulse dips 30%, you could ha have Tetra manage your stability pool holdings and buy the dip therefore increasing uh, the amount of tokens you would have and then when the price goes back up you have even more value to borrow against to repeat the process over at a faster rate so as you can see the harness strategy using liquid loans is a very effective um, and very safe with this collateralization rate uh, way to increase your pulse holdings over time uh, by borrowing and, uh, and, and, and repurchasing Pulse. So we're going to take a look now at some of the numbers behind this strategy and see what possibilities that this strategy can do f for us uh, in the future. Okay, we're going to take a look at this spreadsheet that Haunted has for us. As we talked about previously, uh, we need about $21,000 to start this strategy. And so we picked some arbitrary numbers here that at when Pulse hits uh, uh, $0.005, um, we would have, at, and at, we had 4.2 uh, million units, we would have roughly $21,000 worth of Pulse. 
uh, to start this. And if we take a loan amount at 10%, which is a 1,000% collateralization ratio, and we move uh, and re redeploy the loans at a 10% price increase, we can do so and see what it happens. And we're going to assume, let's say, 1,000 people are doing this with us uh, using Tetra to, to automate this haunted strategy. So let's see what can happen with, with, such, uh, with such numbers uh, using the strategy. So as you can see, we have initial price, uh, and our loan amount is $21,000. So our first loan is 10%, which is $2,100. And then if a thousand people are doing it with us, we have $2.1 million of buy pressure on the initial uh, run of the strategy, okay? And as we proceed taking loans out uh, at 10% increases, our loans go up, may go down a little bit, and then start going up and up and up, as we can see that. Now, here we can see the value in this column of what we would have if we didn't do anything but just held the token. So this is just the token price times the token count. Um, so you can see that at any time, okay? But let's see, when, when Pulse goes to a 5X, at this point in time, you, each individual will be taking uh, $1,378 with a loan against their Pulse, and then which is $1.3 million worth of loans taken out, which, which is uh, a direct buy pressure in the Pulse in, in the on pulse chain itself on the token I said a 5x okay and a 10x you're taking a $2,800 loan and which is uh, it's without 1,000 people doing it it's about 2.8 million dollars for the buy pressure and at a 10x that equates to an individual spending $14 in fees to take the loan which is $14,000 worth of fees going back into the uh, liquid loans staking pool that's distributed amongst the stakers okay so you can see what's happening now uh, as it, you go up and up in value in pulse and pulse now 25 x's you end up taking a loan out of eight thousand two hundred fifty dollars because just your token count if you didn't take the loan would have been uh five hundred thirty six thousand dollars but now you're taking a loan out at eight two hundred fifty dollars which is $8.2 million with the buy pressure with you and the Tetra Army working the strategy, which relates, uh, which correlates to around $41,000 to be distributed in fees to the loan stakers. So let's say we go to 100X, uh, and we're all happy that Pulse is 100X now, we're all working the strategy. Well, now I have two, uh, just under uh, $2 million worth of value in Pulse coins uh, if I didn't do anything but held, but I, I'm using a harness strategy, and so I'm borrowing now $36,000. And then I have acquired, at this point, by using a harness strategy, 7.4 million uh, total units of Pulse. And me and the, us in the Tetra Army, we have now put $36, $36, $36 million worth of buy pressure uh, on the Pulse token, pushing the price up, and or ha have $180,000 worth of fees to distribute to the loan stakers. And say, so then Pulse goes 1,000x, and we're all excited and ecstatic. Well, if I didn't do nothing and held, I'd have $22 million worth of Pulse if I just held my tokens. Well, I'm, at this point, though, I'm taking a five, half a million dollar loan myself as an individual, and as a group, that's a $500 million worth of buy pressure. And I now possess, by doing the horn strategy, instead of 4.2 million units, which I started with, I'll ha I now have 9.6 million units by using the strategy and buying over and over again, only with a 10% increase. And we've now distributed, at this point in time, we're now distributing 2.5 million tokens, I mean, uh, dollars worth of uh, value back to the liquid loans st uh, staking pool. So as you can see here, there's the numbers get bigger and bigger and they become mind-boggling at a certain point i mean if let's say pulse would do a 15,000 x like ethereum did let's say it does that at that point in time if you start the strategy at the beginning you'd be taking out as an individual a nine million dollar 9.5 million dollar loan because your value is now 381 18 million dollars if you just held okay at a 15,000 x at that point in time, if a thousand people are doing this, we're putting nine point five billion dollars with the buy pressure at this at this level 
on the on the, on the token on the system, distributing forty seven million dollars to the loan stakers. Okay, so I hope you all can see the power of this strategy and how Tetra can manage this for you, and then working together as a group using strategies like this one or similar strategies, we can all really push uh, the uh, the positive price action on po on the Pulse token. So we got to consider this, that this has never before been done. And, th and we sit on the precipice of, uh, of greatness here by utilizing these tools that have never existed prior to any other L1 or EVM compatible chain. And when Ethereum launched, it did not have these tools available. It did not have the community available, and it did not have uh, uh, the, the knowledge and the understanding and experience that we have today. We know more now, and we're better equipped and better prepared. So when Pulse launches, there's no reason we can't work together. And Tetra can be the, um, the binding force to push us to the next level in the cryptocurrency. Well, after looking at that strategy, I hope you're excited. I know I am. And in that strategy, we didn't even consider uh, buying the dip at a 30% drop in price. So, or even the potential even change your collateralization rate to a, say, 800% by borrowing more per time. And both of those would uh, increase the, uh, the your, your, your rate of uh, earnings in that strategy. So the Honda strategy is a uh, powerful tool that can be utilized in Pulse Chain using liquid loans uh, to really use uh, push DeFi to a to its next level, but there's more. And as we saw in previous videos, there's a lot of protocols out there that are awesome and that will be launching on Pulse Chain, and we could utilize a harness strategy to help us DCA to any one of them. I mean, we can want we may decide we want to buy uh, the wallet dividend from Internet Money Guys because it, it uh, distributes yield, or Watt Token and deposit in Power City, or Mintra and earn yield that way. Or you with the win-win guys and maybe put some more m money in there and hope to win a lottery. Or maybe use one of uh, Red Squirrel's arbitrage uh, blocks and earn yield arbitraging uh, stable coins. Or go see Famous and the Fiat guys and uh, deposit some of your money there and earn fees that way, being part of their, their system and lending protocol. See, all these uh, protocols I picked all distribute yield. And that can be turned, that yield can be in turn be put back in Tetra Wallet and redistributed throughout your strategies as you see fit. Then you want to get paid as well. So you can take profits as a form of a loan, reducing your tax liability in the future. So, as we can see here, this strategy is uh, all encompassing and to a certain point. But I want you to look at something very click closely. Nowhere in this strategy are you selling anything or selling one token. For another, you only use USDL stablecoin to buy Pulse. Everything else is yield generation from service fees. And if you're smart and do not sell any of these other tokens, but only buy and deposit into these other protocols, you'll continue to grow and diversify your yields throughout the ecosystem. And I just picked these as examples. I'm sure there's others out there that I missed. But I'm making a point that this strategy that I've come up with is a never selling strategy that you can be utilized through with Tetra on Pulse Chain that will continue to earn you yield and profits with just a few small clicks of a button and a drag and drop user interface Tetra can manage this for you and all you have to do is walk away and enjoy your life and get your time back. But wait, there's more. What? Neil? More you say? Yes, more. Well, we looked at Neil's never selling pulse strategy. Yes, it was complicated and had a lot of moving parts. And pulse was our underlying asset we were using to borrow against. But our good friends at Power City have forked liquidity and they're going to use PulseX in their earn protocol as their underlying asset. So now Neil can have two strategies running identically with two different assets that back them up. And that, my friends, will give us more and more endless possibilities with Tetra. Well, I hope you liked that video and the information that was contained. It's an exciting time to be in as Pulse Chain launch approaches us. 
And I want to thank uh, the guys at Liquid Loans and thank Haunted, uh, one of my strategy buddies, uh, for putting together these, his strategy. And it's really, it's really revolutionized the way we, uh, we, we need to look at our future in DeFi on Pulse Chain. Well, uh, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comments below. Well, this is Neil from T-Share signing off with more strategies for Tetra. Take care and have a good day.